women participate actively in many fisheries activities but their contribution to fisheries is unrecognized more than 80% of women workforce in india works in prawn and fish processing plants rural women in india are mostly engaged in retail fish marketing as a small scale enterprise they are engaged as head holders petty fish traders retail fish traders and municipal vendors women in the post harvest fishery sector in india are more visible in fresh fish trade in fact suitable profession for women in fishing sector will be in production processing and marketing operations there is a huge scope for value addition at different steps of processing and marketing chain establishment of family or community based enterprise will be an attractive proposition to cater these needs for value addition and sustainable income generation considering the above facts cifa has undertaken a women mainstreaming project women self help groups have been trained in value addition activities in different freshwater aquaculture products like indian major carps pangas mural tilapia and prawn etc primary processing of various freshwater fish have led to development of products like whole boneless carp boneless fish fillets fingers and nuggets drumstick mural and anabas ready to cook products training and skill development program for women shg stakeholders has been undertaken in a pilot scale fish pickle has been found to be a lucrative business preparation of fish gel and its incorporation to develop fish wafers fish popper and fish noodle has been found to be economically and commercially feasible the benefit to cost ratio in primary process ready to cook fish products varied from 1.1 to 1.3 however during the process of making ready to eat product like fish cutlet fish ball fish nuggets fish burgers the benefit to cost ratio is still higher which ranged from 1.4 to 1.8 preparation of carp egg burgers was found to be highly acceptable in the fish eating population women play significant roles in all aspects of fisheries pond management fish seed rearing grow out culture fish processing and marketing suitable profession for women in post harvest fishery sector are fish cleaning cutting drying picking grading and packaging necessary attempts were made to assess the strengths weakness challenges and constraints encountered by the women while participating in various fisheries activities considering the above facts Sifa has undertaken a women mainstreaming project. Women self-help groups have been trained in value addition activities in different freshwater aquaculture products like Indian major carps, pangas, mural, tilapia, etc. In Indian major carps products like boneless fish, whole debone fish, fillets fingers and nuggets preparation has been undertaken for skill development tilapia drumstick mural and anabas primary processing has been undertaken in a pilot scale for value addition and marketing of fresh fish products fish pickle has been found to be a lucrative business preparation of fish gel 
and its incorporation to develop fish wafers. This empowerment of women in developing various fish products has been tried in small fish processing plant. Women have formed women self-help groups who are engaged in all diversified activities of culture, marketing of fish and other value-added fish products. Training is a continual process of helping stakeholders to perform at a higher level. Training and skill development can create job opportunities through value addition in the marketing chain, job creation through family-based enterprise development in fishery sector is a great avenue for the WSSGs. There is a huge scope for value addition at different steps of processing and marketing chain, establishment of family and community-based enterprise will be an attractive proposition to cater these needs for value addition and sustainable income generation. Gender equity and equality in fisheries resource management at all levels from farm to fork value chain in which both men and women have important role to play. Fisheries and aquaculture are the fastest growing sector in the world. It is expected to contribute more than 50% of the total fish consumption by 2020. Tailoring fisheries, aquaculture and value addition training to women's need. The project has adopted a participatory community-oriented fisheries resource management. With increased production of fish through aquaculture, it has become necessary to prepare ready-to-use fish products in order to protect the interest of the primary producer as well as to cater the needs of the urban consumers. With the rapid strides of urbanization, increase in the demand for ready-to-use and primary processed fish products have come to force. Women's involvement in fish processing and marketing is widespread and regarded as appropriate activity for women, giving them domestic tasks and responsibility. Fish is an integral part of diet of coastal villages. Organized retailing of freshwater aquaculture products has a great prospect for gender mainstreaming. In coastal villages and urban areas, some women have become important fish entrepreneurs in fish trade. Such entrepreneurs earn, administer significant sum of money, finance a variety of enterprises and generate sufficient revenue for their household as well as community. Many consumers in India prefer fish in fresh state. Fresh fish is eaten as a delicacy or as a fast food. Fresh and primary processed aquatic products are substitutes for other sorts of protein. A variety of aquaculture species find difficulty in selling as fresh. These can be suitably processed and marketed in value-added form so as to increase the net return from aquaculture. Women are better suitable for managing such outlets. Self-help group offer vehicle for women participation. Over the years, women involved in fisheries are becoming more visible to policy makers and general public alike. Women are the key resource person in participatory rural appraisal for providing the information about the activities of women group in community. In order to increase the women participation in decision making and in the community activities, women self-help groups and specific interest groups in fisheries and aquaculture has been formed to promote gender mainstreaming in fisheries. Small indigenous fish offer greater nutritional value 
as the small indigenous species of fish provide the double vitamin A and other nutrient than carp. Poor households in the project area were benefited by the microfinance system innovated by them in terms of taking loan and repaying timely has helped the households. Most of the funds have gone into meeting household expenses and not to entrepreneurial opportunities.